Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us this Tuesday morning. Heading out the door would be hard to forget your coat with the temperatures we have out there. Once again, talk attempts in the 20s for most of us this morning. Maybe some teens out there as well. Actually, should be a relatively nice January day. Temperatures climbing into the 30s by the lunch hour. Should see highs in the 30s, even some low 40s for our southwest areas again this afternoon. Maybe sunny skies expected today. Eventually, those temperatures will cool back down into the 30s around the lunch hour. Get a live look now at Carney, our viewer wireless camera there. Tri Cities. Currently dealing with temperatures in the low to mid 20s out there. Well, Cord Hastings there just 21, but it is 26 right now. Yeah, Graham Island, lots of clear skies right now. Some relatively light winds for the most part. Temperatures here they are, just 18 right now at Ogallal. Most of us in the 20s though. It is 24 Hebron and Lincoln a little warmer yet. Or near 28, 29 for a few of us out there. O'Neill and Albany just a couple. 32 though at Broken Bow. So. Those temperatures, mainly 20s. It's kind of a cold morning yet again. Of course, you factor in that wind chill. Those temp temperature really feels like temperatures in the teens and 20s out there as well. So once again, heading on your way back to work or if you're just going outside this morning, you'll definitely want a coat. Of course, the north wind always makes things a little chillier, it seems like, especially in the wintertime. Those northwesterly winds right now, roughly 5 to 10 miles down, maybe a couple of miles an hour stronger here or there. Otherwise, some wider winds across southeast Nebraska at the moment. Those winds more southwesterly at the moment, too. Of course, those winds shouldn't be all that bad today. Five to ten miles an hour out of the north and northwest. Maybe tracking a little bit in the way of a little patchy fog this morning. A little bit of reduced visibility there in places like Lincoln and Hebron. Maybe a little bit more developing patchy fog to our west is something to watch out for this morning. Otherwise, should be having pretty clear skies. Of course, maybe a couple you know, flurries there across maybe you know, Boone County is moving out of our coverage area as we speak. More cloud cover there, but we see clear skies taking place to our west. We've got high pressure that's going to be building in for today. Should keep things relatively quiet and relatively dry, at least for today. Same drive the next couple of days. Do have a couple of fog chances we'll be talking about. More fog going to be rolling into the area tonight, early tomorrow morning as well. We could also see some more fog late tomorrow night into Thursday morning. And more cloud cover expected for our day on Thursday as well. So. The pattern will be getting a little bit more active here towards the end of the week. So make the most of the day. 38 for a high. Maybe a couple areas of fog this morning. Otherwise, we'll see mainly sunny skies and relatively light winds for today. 16 for a low tonight. Also, that fog rolling in could be a little freezing fog as well. So it could make the roads a little slick in the morning, too. So do be on the lookout for that. 33 again for a high tomorrow. More fog possible in the morning. Then we'll see partly sunny skies for the rest of the afternoon. Temperatures today here they are. Most of us in the 30s and 40s, though, to our south. Probably not too bad of a January day, at least in this time of year. Temperatures tonight, though, they are cold in the teens. Maybe some low 20s farther south and east. And temperatures tomorrow, relatively similar. Maybe a touch cooler to our north. Just 20s, places like O'Neill and Ainsworth. Most of us in the 30s, some 40s, too, our south. So temperatures can be pretty, staying pretty steady here the next week or so. Temperatures sticking around in the low to mid 30s most days. Although looking ahead to next week, Ahead of that system, those uh, temperatures could be dropping back into the 20s. Are talking a couple of snow chances here the next week as well. Snow chances again moving in Thursday night into Friday, which looks to impact the Tri Cities area. I think most of that will stay south of I 80, but we have to look out for that. Snow could continue into Saturday. Sunday looking a little drier, but then we see another chance to roll around Sunday night into Monday of next week. Could be a little bit more of a significant system, so that is something else to watch out for, Sarah. Yeah, and definitely we want to, considering what happened on Christmas Day. And for sure. Around there, so. Yeah, stay tuned for uh, more updates on that as we get a better idea. All right, winter is here. Yeah. We, we got a, kind of a break from it in December, but. Yeah, we were spoiled, but uh, yeah, January, winter's not messing around. No. So. All right.